GoPro, stop recording! All right, hey everybody, I am Sam with Outdoors in Maryland, and today we're gonna do some ribs. And since we kinda wanna have them quick, and we don't wanna stick them on a smoker, we're not gonna put them on a smoker, it's gonna take a little too long tonight. We're actually gonna do it in our pot. And we're gonna to try to do it for the first time, ribs in, this, in, the, in here, so you can come with us and learn how to do it because this is the only second time I've ever used this thing. All right, so stick around. So when you first when you first get the ribs, you want to clean it off, and then the first thing you want to do, you want to make sure you take the back membrane off. But what I do is I will take a little butter knife down here, get underneath this little skin, kind of poke it up like that. Make sure you take a paper towel. And we want to take that skin off. Easy to do. All right, so whenever I do my ribs, I always first, I want to set these up real good. My hands are going to be just, I wish I had my gloves. You're going to rinse this off, right? Okay. All right, so I always, when I want to smoke my ribs, I always put a layer of mustard on there. And all this does is really get the this is just going to get the seasoning to stick a little bit more. Now I'm going to let my seasoning sit for about an hour and really get on here and really look wet. That's the only way I can tell you. We'll see it when it's ready. Same here. Took the membrane off. Now, the roll we're using, I don't think really matters. Um, you can use any rub. I mean, if you want to make your own, make your own. If you want to make your own rub, you go right ahead. There are so many good rubs out. And today we're actually going to try, it's called Uncle Yammy's Memphis Style Chicken and Rib Rub. That's what we're going to be using today. So we're gonna let this set. So we put on here and what I want is a wet look for me. I guess doing my smoker all the time, I like this to, in here. You can do it overnight if you wanna do all that stuff. I don't, know, I don't know if it'll be the same in here. I just want this to really adhere because it's gonna get really wet and really, you know, a lot of moisture in there. And I don't want a lot of the seasoning to fall off. I want it to stay as much on there as much as I can get it to stay on there. So I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit. It's gonna look real wet and then, uh, We'll go ahead and we'll get this set up. This should be fun. All right, stick around. Okay, so now we're ready. This is this is set for over an hour, the ribs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add one, about a half a cup, so we're about half of these. I'm gonna have a beer and some apple cider. And I'm gonna stick it into the pot here. Stick it into the pot. I want to add it. Seems like I want to add a little more. A little bit more beer. Just a little bit. Don't want to add too much. I'm not making a bath. A lot of people will put. I've seen them put two cups of water in, or two cups of orange juice, two cups, and really, really put a lot of fluid in there. I, I don't want that. At least I don't want it. Okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stick the ribs in. Now we bought this rack, look inside here. When we bought this, we bought it from somebody that said it was new, it's new. So we've only used it twice, but we didn't get the rack with it. So we went out and I think that's actually for an Instapot, but we actually got that little tiny rack there um, to, to give off. So we're gonna go ahead and we want the bone. I'm sorry. We want the bone in like that. I want as much as that rub to stick on as possible. Okay, all right. So we're going to set this and you can hear when you put all right so that just you just heard that it's not locked so 
I told you it's locked. You want this to look like it's even, okay? You want it even. So this, all this on here is gonna flicker because of the time, time, the, the shutter speed or whatever on the camera and this probably might not match. So you can either put it on meat and go from there. But what I wanna do, I wanna put it on, um, what's it say, Mo more. So you got less, normal, and more. I wanna do more. So you're gonna press texture. This is texture. Uh-oh, why didn't it do nothing? Come on now, see? Sherlock's on. Yes, that's on. All right, okay, so we're going to, all right. So now we'll do texture. And is that seconds or is that minutes? Yeah, I think that's minutes. We definitely don't want that. We don't want it that far. We're going to try 20 minutes. So we're going to try 20 minutes. All right. I think that's plenty. I think that should be plenty. Maybe, maybe, oh, what the hell. Maybe I'll do 22 minutes. All right, then once you hit uh, where you want it, now you can put, just hit meat, and I think it just gives you a time you can use. But if you hit meat and then you hit texture, you can make it uh, either more or less, normal or more. And that's what we're gonna do. All right, now we're gonna, you gotta press start. If you don't press start, so it's going to preheat and she's ready to go. We'll let you know when it's when it's done. Oh, we'll it's done. Don't look at me. <sighs> okay, so what happened? The 22 minutes is over with. This thing automatically goes to warm. And you can warm it up to four hours. It will automatically start going to warm. Um, it, it'll, it just, it automatically just goes right to warm mode as it's releasing pressure. So I'm going to hit up here, up here, you have a pressure release. Now watch this, but a pressure release. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to hit this and make sure any pressure that's been in there, I'm going to go ahead and let it go. All right. Okay. So I just released the pressure from up here. I'm, I'm releasing the pressure. I'm gonna take and put this over top of the here. You just press the button down and it'll just release the pressure. Smells good. All right. really hot so do some tongs all right you get the roller on all right so so what we're gonna do I'm gonna take some any barbecue sauce you want we're just gonna use some craft spicy we like we wanted to try this but this is the wild wild wings buffalo wild wings Asian Zing, I really, really, uh, I was going to use this. But we're going to brush it on here. We got our oven on broil. We're going to go ahead and paint this real good. And brush it on. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to stick it in the broiler for about five minutes. All right, let's stick in the bowl for five minutes.
hey why this is getting uh this is this is getting done if you like the content won't you consider su subscribing to the channel make sure you hit the like button that really helps us out with the algorithms and all that stuff with youtube and uh we're more of an outdoor channel uh, we do a lot of recipes we got some crab soups a cream of crab regular crab crab balls crabbies we got a lot of stuff we try to use our crab meat we catch our own crabs and we catch our own crabs <sighs> We bring them back. <laughs> oh my God. Well, we catch our own crabs, we pick the meat and we save it for the winter time, like now. Um, so we use them throughout the year. Okay, so stick around and let's see what these ribs will talk. I can't wait to try these ribs. Hey, if you like this video, why don't you go ahead and hit the next one? That'll show you how we catch a blue crabs during the summertime. And look at this. That looks awesome. They turned out awesome. They turned out great. All right? Don't forget to subscribe and you guys. Rock on. Okay, that's good. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording.